doing today. I'm Amy from Lily Bean Designs. I have a fun project for y'all today. We are going to be doing the baseball um, tiered tray file. I have not been live in a while, so I'm super excited to chat with you guys today. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, when you, If you're coming in, just say hello and tell me where you're watching from and what's going on with you today. Um, and make sure uh, to let me know that you can hear and see me. Um, and if you did not get notified today that I was getting ready to go live, if you didn't get your text notification, then you can text the number on the screen and just text hey to me um, at that number and you will be put on the um, text notification list. Hey, Charmaine, how are you doing today? I hope everyone is um, doing just great today. Okay, so um, I am hoping that I can... Um, keep all these pieces straight for y'all because I don't do a lot of tiered tray files live um, because there's so many pieces that I get really confused. Hey, Lisa, good afternoon. How are you doing today? Um, oh, Lisa, you're in Mechanicsville? Oh my goodness. Okay, somebody local. That's very cool. Um, I'm going to get the banner off the screen. Tell me where in Mechanicsville you are. That's where I live. It's a very small town right outside of Richmond, Virginia. All right, we're gonna get that off of there. Okay, so I'm sorry I'm a little bit late today. I was gonna go live at noon and then um, I just had some things going on and I had to recut some pieces. So let me explain that. This set um, is in my Etsy shop. It is the baseball tiered tray file and it is um, linked in the video description. So if you would like to purchase it, you can just go to the video description for the video that you're watching right now and it will be there. Oh, you're off of Studley. Oh, very cool. Hey, Karen, good afternoon. Okay, so the reason that I had to redo this, now let me say there were probably three people who purchased the file last night before I redid it and I only redid like a small, very, very small part of it. Um, so if you happen to be one of the three people who purchased before I fix this little, it wasn't even, I'm not even going to call it an issue. It was something that I did not know about baseball. So let me explain that to y'all. Um, so if you, if you purchased it before that, um, then just send me a message and I'll email the um, file to you with the changes. Okay. So who knew that the stitches on a baseball, so we'll use this one for an example. Who knew that the stitches on a baseball go, um, opposite directions. I don't know how else to explain that, but basically, so this is the little tag. This has a hole in the top of it. And what this is meant for is just like to make a cute little tag. So if you want to string some wooden beads on like a piece of twine and you just want to tie it here, maybe put a little bow or something like that. Um, yes, the stitching, Karen, exactly. Hey, Jennifer, how are you? Okay, so the stitching on here, um, it see how it points in this direction? And then see how down here it points in this direction. Okay, so I had two people who messaged me and said, hey, the um, the stitches on your baseball are not right. Well, I thought they meant because when I first did it, I kind of had them um, 
let's see, they were going like, kind of like that, I guess. And I just didn't even notice it. I just did them like that. And I was, and I thought they meant they wanted them to be more like centered like that. And I was like, okay, well, that does look more like a baseball. But then I realized um, someone was like, no, they go in opposite directions. So these point this way and these point this way. So I had no idea. And apparently like some people really, that bothers them. <laughs> so I'm OCD, but I'm not that OCD. Like I was like, okay, is there people, are people really going to notice that? But I guess if you're really into baseball, then you really do notice things like that. So I have fixed it. It's all fixed um, on all the pieces that have the baseball stitches. So um, do not worry about that. That's the change that I had to make on there. All right. So we're going to start painting because we have a lot of pieces to paint. And I hope that I can keep it all straight because um, I tried normally when I'm painting for y'all, I paint, I paint, I print a picture um, of what I'm painting. I'm trying to figure out a good brown for my baseball. Uh, let's see. Let's do this darker brown. All right. This is deco art. Um, so normally I print out a picture and I have it where I can see it. And um, my printer won't print. And I have no idea what, why it won't print today. Um, it's the Wi-Fi is working. The printer's online. It's hooked up to the internet. It will scan, but it's just when I go to print, it's just sitting there. And I don't know. It's driving me crazy. So I have no idea why I won't print my picture. All right. I'm going to do the baby wipe method. Um, this is the, I call this the cheater method. So I'm taking a baby wipe and I'm dipping it in a little bit of this brown paint. And I'm just going to go ahead and do my baseball bat with that. So it kind of looks stained. I just think it's easier than using stain and it's, it takes uh, no time at all to dry because, you know, stain takes a little while to dry and it's smelly and sticky and all that. So I just prefer doing this and it's quick and easy. All right, so we're going to do the baseball bat and then these little gloves are, let me pop this piece out. These are part of the banner. So the banner is two gloves, two of these, what are these called? Baseball mounds. It's been a long time since my son played um, Little League. And then we've got two baseballs and then... Let me make sure I got my stitches going in the right direction here. All right, we got down and up and down and up. Okay, there we go. So these are the six pieces in the little banner here. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and do my gloves. I like this because you can see the wood grain through it. So if you guys don't mind um, sprinkling the video today, I would greatly appreciate it. When you sprinkle and comment sprinkled, um, you are entered to win a free file that I give away every month. Somebody gets a free file. And if you're the winner, I will private message you, Facebook message you and let you know. And you can pick out a file from my shop for free. If you sprinkle and comment, sprinkle. And that just helps my business. So I appreciate it. All right. Now, let me see. I haven't completely planned this out as usual. Um, all right. Let me think. I don't know that there's anything else I want to do with the brown right at the moment. Let's do some white. All right. So this little sign right here, this is going to be one of our more complicated signs because this one is going to say there's no crying in baseball. So I want to paint this, um, the back of this with some chalk paint. And I did remember to bring a big roll of paper towels in here today because I never have enough paper towels. All right. Sometimes I dump my white paint out and sometimes I just go straight from the bottle. Make sure y'all can see this. Um, so 
I wanted to talk to y'all today about um, SVG Clubhouse because um, SVG Clubhouse is my private membership club and it opens up on June 1st for new members. So we only open a few times a year and um, there's all sorts of fun stuff that you get as a club member. And so I want to make sure that everybody who um, wants to join is on the waiting list so you don't miss out. We're going to be open from June 1st, which is a Tuesday. It's the Tuesday after Memorial Day weekend. And we're going to stay open through Sunday evening of that week for new members. And then we're going to close the doors and we're not going to open again for at least three months. We usually are going to be open like every, uh, like, probably four times a year, three or four times a year, just depending on like how busy it gets. Um, so SVG Clubhouse, if you want to join, you can hop over to my website, lulubeandesigns.com, and you can click on SVG Clubhouse to get on the waiting list. And I'll tell you a little bit about the club. Some of y'all might be club members. If you are, comment and let me know. Um, the way that the club works is that it is $15 a month, and you get four files every month that are exclusive to the group. So these files never go on sale in my Etsy shop. They are only available to group members. You get four new files and the files are, so you get a new tiered tray file each month and the tiered tray file is uh, what I call one of my one sheet wonders. And a one sheet wonder means that you can fit well, you, not that you can fit. All of the pieces um, fit inside of one sheet of wood for you that fits in the Glowforge bed. So a lot of my customers are Glowforge um, users. And the Glowforge, of course, as you know, without the pass-through door, you can do uh, the sheets of wood that are about, it's about like a 19 by 10. I, I keep everything within a 19 by 10 box when I plot it all out. So you can cut all the pieces of the tiered tray out of one piece, one sheet of wood, and you don't have to guesstimate how much wood you're going to use. You don't have to waste wood. It's all in there for you. It's all like squeezed together so that you're not wasting um, materials and all of that. So it's done. Oh, thank you guys. Y'all are so sweet. So um, good morning. Uh, am I saying your name right? Arul and Kelly? Um, and Jennifer and Karen, good morning or good afternoon, depending on where you're from. Um, so anyway, so the tiered tray file is a one sheet wonder. And that's nice because if you are somebody who um, does a box, like a subscription box or like a DIY uh, paint party or club, something like that, and you want to be able to know how many sheets of wood you're going to need for the projects, then that work is already done for you. So that's one of the projects you get every month. Um, the second project is a shaker file. And if you have not seen the shaker files, then um, hop over to my Etsy shop. Um, you can get the link. Everything is, is on my website. So if you go to lulubeandesigns.com, you'll see the link uh, for my Etsy shop. It'll say, I think it says shop now. Um, but the shakers are some fun little sets where you get to make a, a three-dimensional uh, set. One is a framed piece and one is like kind of like an ornament. And they are uh, filled with sequins or some people use different things, um, glitter, uh, just little like filler items to make them like shaker pieces and they're really cute home decor. I'm not painting this by the way. I'm just kind of giving it like a light coat of, wood, of white. I want it to look a little distressed. I don't need it to be perfect. That's what I'm going for. Um, so you get a shaker set each month and those are super fun. They make good kids projects. Um, they're just really, really fun. And usually they uh, the shaker sets will coordinate with the tiered tray file that you get each month. So if you want to use your shaker pieces on your tiered tray, then uh, most of the time they coordinate. Like this month we did a Father's Day fishing set. So the tiered tray was a Father's Day um, uh, fishing set and then so was the shaker set and they coordinated. So that was really cute together. So those are two of the projects you get. Um, the third project is a door hanger or a wall hanger. So if you like to make the um, 
you know, the, the different wall hangers, door hangers with the three dimensional like letters and florals and things like that. We do one of those every month. All right, let me see. Let me do, I'm going to do the tag now. And then the fourth project is just something different. So it could be a shelf sitter. It could be a um, porch leaner. Um, we did keychains this month for teacher week and nurses week. Um, what else? Just different things. A banner. There's all kinds of things that could be the fourth project. It's just something different that we decide we're going to do. I'll thank you. Am I saying it? I'm sorry if I mispronounce names. Is it Tanya or Tanja? I'm not sure. It looks like a J to me, but I can't see my computer that well from across the table. I have to put it way across the table or else I can see my computer from the overhead camera. So I have to have it kind of back. So it's hard for me to see sometimes exactly what y'all are seeing. Um, I will have to paint as a softball. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'll work on a softball one instead of, because this one says baseball in a few places. So maybe I'll work on a softball tier tray file. That would be fun. All right. Let me think. Um, okay. So here, this one's really cute. It's one of those foam fingers like people hold up at the games. So I think I'm going to paint the back red and we're going to do this part white. So I'm going to get a white Posca pen for that. Let me get a baby wipe and wipe my hands. So that, those are the four files that you get every month in SVG Clubhouse. Um, hop over to my website, get on the waiting list, and you'll be notified when the doors open. We also, um, one of the biggest perks of the club is that you get 50% off all my files in my Etsy shop all the time. So that's really, some people don't even make the files in the group, they just want the discount. So members get 50% off um, all the time on all my files. And we do a fun paint party every month um, where I go live and we paint one of the projects. Uh, what else? What am I leaving out? I didn't write all this down. Let me get, oh, let's see. And you have um, access to a private Facebook group and also to a membership portal that we have where you can access all your files. And I'm in the process of loading all my videos from Facebook and, and YouTube onto the membership portal so that if you're a member, you don't have to go to my Facebook page and search for a video. You can just go there and all my videos will be there and it'll have like a picture of the project finished and it'll have a link to where to get the file. So it'll all like be organized there and it's just easier to find stuff. So those are the perks of the group. It is $15 a month and the doors open on June 1st. So I hope to see some new members coming in. We are having a ball over there. It is so much fun. And I'm so excited to share the projects for um, June with you guys. What I'm going to be doing is um, the week before I lunch, so the week before Memorial Day weekend, I'm going to go live several days that week, and I'm going to paint the projects live for you that we're going to be doing for June. So you're not going to be able to purchase those files when you watch me do them live. I just want you to see what's in the group. So if you see those projects and you want to join and you see the fun things we're doing, um, kind of like a little teaser. So I'll be doing that. And then um, we also, when we launch, we did this last time and everyone loved it. So I'm doing it again. We're going to have some bonus files during launch week. And so when the doors open on June 1st, if you join the first day, you're going to get all the bonus files for the week. And then each day that goes by, you still get some bonus files, but one goes away. So the biggest benefit is going to be if you join on day one, on June 1st. That's why I want you all to get on the waiting list so you don't miss uh, when, we, when the doors open. And so you get all the bonus files for the week. And then every day that goes by, um, we drop one of the bonus files until the end of the week. And then there's no bonus files left, but you, you can still get the files for the month, of course. And if you get in the, in the club and you see that um, the previous months we did some fun projects and you weren't a member then, you have the option as a group member to purchase those previous month's files. 
those are not for sale to the public. They are only available to group members, but you do have the option to purchase those in the membership portal. So that's also one of the perks of being in the club. Let me make sure I'm not missing your, oh, thank you. Arula says she's happy we did the portal. The portal is really fun. We finally got everybody organized and added to the portal and you can get in there and get everything you need. And it's just a really, it's gonna be really fun, especially when I get all the videos put in there. There's also an app too. So it's through a, a membership hosting like website called Kajabi and there's a Kajabi app. So you can always access your files through the app as well. So that's really cool. Uh, let's see. Yes. Oh, I meant to mention that. Yes. If you are a current member, then every time we launch and we offer bonus files, then as a current member, you get all the bonus files for free. Those are just, that's a perk of being a member. So you will get all those bonus files um, June 1st. They will be in your membership portal and your email and all of that. Let's see. Uh, I hope to be able to join once it's open again, my laser should be here by June 4th, and I can't wait. Oh, Trina, that's exciting. Very cool. Okay. Let me think what we need to do next. <laughs> Some of the things I'm not sure what color I'm going to do. I want to do a little bit of red and blue. So let's do, I know I'm going to do this foam finger red, so let's do that. Now, I'm going to try this red. I haven't pulled this out in a while. This is Waverly um, Crimson. So you can get Waverly chalk paint at Walmart. I'm not sure if I'm going to love this or not, though. I'm going to have to see. I think this is the red that I like. I haven't used it in so long, but I'm pretty sure this is the one. I might even do a baby wipe for this. Let me see. I'm going to have to get it out of here, though. And this chalk paint is kind of thick. Well, all chalk paint is kind of thick, but... Let me see. I might have to get get it out with a smaller brush because I think I've that little seal thing is not like all the way off of there. I know I'm globbing up my paintbrush doing it this way, but this is probably not the best way to do this. I'm making a mess. Y'all can't even see. Sorry. I'm just globbing red paint onto my plate and I'm making a big mess doing it. Okay. Yeah, I haven't pulled out my Waverly paint in a while. I'm going to do a baby wipe for this as well. All right, so I've got my plate over here, and I just, you know, like I said, I made a big mess. And see how this goes. It's just a quick, lazy, easy way to get paint onto a project. Honestly, it's just the baby wipe. And if you like a distressed look anyway, then this is the method for you, I can tell you, because it just makes it quick and easy. Of course, I get paint all over my hands, but then that's another good thing about having baby wipes handy is you can get it right off. I like, by the way, um, the Kirkland brand baby wipes, um, the Costco ones. I have not bought them in a while. Now they could have changed um, because I literally have had this box of them for like two years. That's how many come in a box. I ordered a gigantic box. But the ones I've had for that whole time have been awesome. They're not like too, um, too wet or too dry or too greasy. I don't know. Sometimes baby wipes can be kind of not the right texture or something. I just, I like these. Um, yes, Tanja, if I'm, I'm sorry, if I'm, hope I'm saying your name right. There is an app. So I posted in our group today, if you're a member already in the group, there's a post under the announcements that explains a lot of the stuff about the membership portal. So make sure you hop over there and, um, read that post. Cause I, I did mention the app over there. All right. So that's going to be our little, how cute is this, y'all? The little foam finger. I'm going to let that red dry for a little bit longer. And we can go ahead and we can paint a bunch of these stitches. These and these. And then down and up. Down and up. Okay, I'm like real, you know. 
trying to keep that down and up thing so the stitches are going in the right direction since I now that I know. Yeah, I could not figure out when they said my stitches weren't right. I was like, what do they mean my stitches aren't right? I don't understand. And then finally somebody was like, no, 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 they go in a different direction. And I was like, what? I would never have known. All those years of T-ball and Little League, and I, who knew? And I know I've made baseball stuff before, and I never knew that. You know, I should probably, well, okay, never mind. I was going to say that I should do these with the Posca pen, but I want my reds to match. So I'm going to just go ahead and dab it on with the paintbrush because I'm afraid if I grab a Posca pen, the reds are not going to be the same shade. So we'll just do this because these are little and they would be a good thing to do um, with a paint pen. And I'm going to, I want to get this all set up after I, um, I'm not going to do it on video or at least not, not today, but get this all set up on my tiered tray and show y'all what it looks like. Um, find some cute things to put on there. Baseball themed stuff. If I can dig around my house and maybe find some cute um, baseball stuff. I know I've got some peanuts. I could do like a little bag of peanuts. Um, maybe I could get some Cracker Jacks at the store. That would be cute. Do you guys, um, those of y'all who do tear trays, do you guys do the little marshmallow mugs on there? Do y'all know what I'm talking about? I have a set of the little marshmallow mugs with the faces on them. They're really cute. You can get them on Amazon or Etsy. And I've got some hats for them for different holidays, but I don't have a baseball one. And um, I'm thinking that I bet you anything if I hop on Etsy, somebody, because people crochet little hats for these marshmallow men. And uh, I guarantee you somebody has made a baseball cap. So I may have to hop on Etsy and see if I can find a baseball cap. I can crochet, but I have not done it in so long that when I, I pick the crochet stuff up, I have to pretty much learn all over again because I can't remember um, what I'm doing anymore because I just don't do it often enough. And I've never made the little hats, but they are so cute. <laughs> I'm glad that we're going to be able to go to baseball games again this year because we didn't get to go to any last year um, with everything being closed. So we have a local baseball team, um, the Flying Squirrels, and my family loves to go to their games. And it's just so much fun. I mean, they do the cutest things at baseball games. They do all the songs and the, the little games and tunes and things where they really um, make it interactive and like involve the audience and involve the kids. And I just think that that's such a fun family activity to do. So I really missed it. And they have incredible food down there. I don't know what the deal is. It's kind of become a foodie kind of thing. The last couple of times I went, there were a couple of um, like food truck uh, things that were set up down there that just had some really yummy different things. You know, you think about going to a baseball game, you're going to get like popcorn and a hot dog or whatever, but they had some really good stuff down there. I'm addicted to the roasted um, pecans. Those are my favorite. All right. So there's those. And we've got two more. These stitches go on the tag. So I'm going to go ahead and hit them with some red. Um, oh, that's so funny. She said she's going to look for the, uh, pay more attention to the stitches when she looks at the baseball stuff. I know. I was going through like everything baseball that I could find online last night and looking at the stitches because I was like, really? Do people really worry about this? Does this really like, is this a thing? And sure enough, I mean, 
yeah, they go in opposite directions. Who knew? Had no idea. Now, you could always, the way that the file already was, whoops, you could have just flipped flipped it over and painted the back side. But, you know, the back side of your lasered stuff doesn't look as nice. But once you paint it, it's pretty much fine, usually. So you could have just flipped it over and painted it. Um, okay, let me think. What else do we need to do before we start on lettering? Because lettering is going to be a little bit more of a thing here in a minute. Um, all right, so this is going to need to be, I might do this wood too. I haven't decided. All right, let me get a baby wipe. I've got red paint everywhere. I look like my hands are bleeding. All right. Thank y'all so much for sprinkling. Don't forget to sprinkle and comment sprinkled. If you don't know what sprinkled means, it's the little button at the bottom of your screen that, you know, share shares the video with other people. We're not supposed to say share. Facebook doesn't like that. I just said it again. But yeah, I don't know why they don't like it, but they don't like us to say that word. Apparently, their, their bots listen to it and don't show our things, our videos to people if we say it too much. Um, hmm, okay. What are we going to do? We're going to do, we're going to do this word baseball. I'm going to try to slide him through here so I can paint it inside of the frame. Let me make sure I'm in frame here. All right. So this goes on the baseball bat. So I've got the letters stretched so they fit on there. I was so excited because I have learned a new skill, how to stretch my letters um, to fit shapes. So this baseball word, I stretched to like fit the shape of the baseball bat. And I did that in Inkscape. And that was very exciting to learn how to do that. It's really easy, actually. Oh, this color that we're going to use is also Waverly. This is called Ocean. And it's just a really nice, like, patriotic blue so I've dug out all my Waverly paints today hey Chris how are you good afternoon all right um I cleaned that brush off but I don't know if I'm going to use a brush I might grab a little sponge dauber if I have a clean one, let me see. I need to find a little, little one. Here's a clean one. All right. Let me get some paint out of here. Uh -oh, this blue needs a good stirring. This paintbrush has taken a beating today, but oh well. Yes, that's much better. It was all like not mixed up because I haven't used it in so long. It's very globby. I hate to waste that paint, but it's all like globbed onto the paintbrush. Okay, so I'm just putting this blue paint on here. This is ocean color. Waverly chalk paint and I'm just going to paint this just like this while it's still in here. While it's still in the little wood cutout thingamabob. And I'm not putting too much on. I'm just kind of doing a quick little dab. Oops. Well, popping out of there. You can just pop these out and paint them, you know, out of the frame. It's just some of the letters came out when I was trying to keep them in. Uh, they came out of the backing. 
So whatever works. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I do it the other way. It's just easier with the tiny little letters, it keeps them together so you don't lose them because I'm so bad about when I've got a bunch of little pieces in front of me, one of them like disappearing and it ends up it's like fall on the floor or stuck to my shirt and my hair. <laughs> Those little pieces go everywhere. They like to hide. And there's nothing worse than um, having to recut just like the tiniest little piece. I'm sure y'all know what I mean. Like if you, you have a whole set and all of a sudden you have to recut like the apostrophe or the dot on the I, you know, that is, that is the worst to fire up your laser just to do that little tiny piece. I hate that. So I try not to lose them. And I also try, if I can, I try to attach the little dot on the eye to the eye in my files. It's not that way in all of my files, but I try, if I can, if it doesn't look weird, to make it so it's kind of attached to the eye so you don't have this little, like, tiny piece. Some of my old files, I, I did not do that, but my newer ones, I have definitely been doing that for a while. Try to make it easier. Okay. All right. So I guess we'll go ahead and take that out. That is done. And we are going to do black. These letters are going to be black. So I will hit them with a um, black chalk pen. I mean, not chalk pen, a black uh, paint pen, Tosca pen here in just a moment. I didn't turn off my sound on my computer and it's bonging. My paper towels, I keep tossing them. I've got blue paint everywhere now. All over my nails. I need to get my nails done anyway. That's actually kind of pretty. That pinky purple color and that blue together. Kind of like a, almost like an airbrushed look. <laughs> all right, so. I have these letters all laid out so nice and I bumped them and they just went everywhere. Oh goodness, I'm trying to move them closer to me. So this, this says there's no crying in baseball, but I got a hot mess going on here because um, my letters went everywhere. Where is my black pasta pen? If you do not have pasta pens, you should get you some pasta pens. They are amazing. All right, let's try to paint these in order so we can keep track of things. You know what I should do? All right. Let me see. I'm about to have an avalanche over here. Hold on. I'm going to show y'all one of my tricks. All right. Normally, I do this with an old Cricut mat, but I'm going to do it with a newer Cricut mat because I have not used my silhouette machine in a while. And actually, I'm just going to cut me a small one. So if this is making you gasp for me to cut my Cricut mat up like this, this is a... Uh, not in the screen. This is one of the uh, 12 by 24 Cricut mats. So if this is making you gasp to see me cut up my not so cheap Cricut mat, um, close your eyes, look away. <laughs> but this, these little pieces of mats make excellent 
things to stick your letters to, which is what I should have done. And I, I'm going to get paint on this mat. So if that makes you gasp as well, then again, you will have to look away. There's no... Come on, get that O over here. There's no crying in baseball. Crying. Whoops. It sticks, but it doesn't stick like too much. So you can, you know, can't talk today, blah, blah, blah. It makes it easier to get your pieces painted, to keep them in order. There's no crying. Let me go in. And then baseball. So this is my little tip of the day. Which way does that S go? I think it goes. No, maybe it goes this way. Baseball. Can y'all see what I'm doing? Yeah, you can. Oh, good. I didn't lose any pieces. I'm so happy. I just knew I was going to try to do this live with y'all and I would be like, oh no, I'm missing letters. All right. All right. I have not seen any comments in a while. So y'all, let me, oh, you know what? Maybe I can't see because I need to scroll down. There we go. Okay. So y'all let me know that you're still there and you can still hear me. We're going to paint, I'm gonna press these down a little bit. We're going to paint these letters black. And I love my black Posca pens because they are one coat coverage. It's fabulous. They are life changing. And I have had these pens forever. I mean, I've only thrown away, I swear, like three Posca pens ever. And they've all been black and white ones. I haven't had to throw any of my colored ones away yet because they do last a very long time. They're worth the money for sure. See how nice that is? You can just paint it stuck down. I know some of y'all do the tape trick where you put a piece of tape down, like some tape upside down and then, you know, the tape right side up and that works too. But I like taking a little piece of my Cricut mat. And just doing it this way. So who loved the movie A League of Their Own? I love Tom Hanks. He is my favorite actor. Love, love, love everything he does. And a League of Their Own is one of my all-time favorite movies. So, so good. And this is one of the best scenes in the movie when he is yelling at her and saying, there's no crying in baseball. It's just hysterical. This makes me want to see if I can find that movie on Prime Video and watch it tonight. It's a great family movie. It's hard to find good family movies sometimes these days, but I feel like that's a good one. You know, like Forrest Gump, another Tom Hanks movie, one of, one of my other faves. All right, y'all comment just to keep me, to keep me company and give me something to chat about y'all, to chat about y'all, to chat with y'all about. Um, comment and tell me your favorite movie. All right, so there's that. One minute, we missed a couple spots. All righty, we got that done. Now, so that's going to go on here. So that piece is done because we've got our little stitches and those are done, those are done. Okay, so then this is where we have the, there's no place like home. All right, so we need to paint those letters as well. Um. While that dries, because it's going to dry really fast because it's a Posca pen. <gasps> Top Gun. Oh, my gosh. Sandra, 
Yes, Top Gun. Okay, so are you so excited about the sequel? Is it a sequel or a redo? It's a sequel, right? Because I think Tom Hanks is in it. So yeah, I think it's a sequel. I am so freaking excited about the, the Top Gun movie. Um, all right, let me think. This, what color do we want this to be? All right, frame is stained, back is white, letters. I might do those in black as well and do the red in home or the home in red. I can't talk today, y'all. All right, I'm going to paint this white. Um, brush. Let me close my baby wipes so they're not drying up. Okay. Yes, I love Tom Hanks too. Um, I'm here cleaning up. Charmaine says she's cleaning up her desktop while watching me. I'm waiting on a new lens and mirror for my laser. Oh, okay. What kind of uh, laser do you have? So I keep a spare lens. I don't have spare mirrors. I've never had to replace a mirror, but I have a thunder laser and I have a glow forge over here, but my thunder laser is like my, you know, my main, my big girl machine. Um, that one, I keep a spare lens, right? Yeah. Lens at all times. And I get those on y'all. I get everything on Amazon. I get those on Amazon too. They're like $30 and I always have a spare, but I've only ever had, I think I've had to change it twice. I've had it, the machine, for a little over a year and I'm on my third lens. Now, some of y'all might say, that's insane. I've had my laser for five years and I've never had to change it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong because I have seen people say that, but y'all, maybe it's not aligned right. I get a spot on my lens probably about every six months, every five or six months, I get a spot on my lens and it just doesn't want to wipe off. Like it won't, when I go to clean it with alcohol, it does not come off. It's, it's on there. It's like burned on there, I guess. So I put my new lens on, it's 30 bucks. It, I change it and I'm cutting like butter. So I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but that is what I do. Yeah. You got to have spares, girl. Amira 7. Oh, that's nice. Now I say that. I say you got to have spares. I don't have spare other stuff. I don't have spare belts. I don't have spare. What else? What else would I need spare? Wheels? Yeah, wheels. I don't have spare wheels. So if any of that happens, if any of that messes up, I'm in a little bit of trouble until I get back up and running again, I guess. But but the lens is the thing that I feel like definitely I've had to switch out. All right. So that's white. And then this, we're going to do the stain. So I'm going to grab this baby white and a little bit of the brown. And we're going to make it look stained. Kind of, sort of. Um, do you clean it often? They get bad if they're not cleaned enough too. So I clean my lens every two weeks and I cut for probably 12 hours a week. So maybe I need to clean it more often. I've seen people say they clean their lens every day. I don't do that. Um, I just feel like at about two weeks, I start getting like places where it's not cut through all the way. Sometimes, so I feel like about every two weeks it's good to clean it. And it doesn't take that long to clean, it's not that big of a deal. On my Thunder, at least, I haven't had to do my Glowforge one yet. I don't even know how to do that. I've got the little do jiggy thing to pull my lens, it's stuck to me, it's like magnetically, you know, it's got the it's. It's magnetic. It's stuck to a little thing on my desk, so I don't lose it. Because I've seen people say, I lost it. I have to get a new one. Um, all right. We're, I'm going to go ahead and assemble one of these pieces. Because that way I can have my um, Cricut mat freed up to paint some more letters. All right. Let me make sure I've got the right. I think these are the two. Are these the two that go on here? 
or maybe not. Maybe it's these two, I'm getting mixed up. No, uh -uh. these go, yeah, this goes on here. All right, so that's gonna go on there. So these are the ones that go on here. And All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in the middle because these are not gonna go all the way to the edge. That's not how it's designed, um, at least not for this piece. Um, so let's do, So yeah, this is another one that I figured out how to curve these letters. So that was really fun to figure out. How to do an Inkscape. All right, I'm seeing some spots I missed. Um, okay, yes, The Notebook is an awesome movie. I love that movie too. And um, Yellowstone. Okay, so I have not seen Yellowstone, but I've heard that it's really good. So it's definitely on my list. All right, let me space this out a little bit more. So these, so there's a space between these two words. Hold on, I want these to be kind of close. In. All right, yeah, kind of like that. All right, let me glue these down. Now, I know somebody's going to say, why didn't you use 3M tape? Because I'm just going to have to, I'm just going to have to order more 3M tape, y'all. Y'all know the saga if you've watched my videos before. I ordered a whole bunch of 3M tape. It's nowhere to be found. I don't know where the heck I put it. I put things away in my craft room and then I cannot find them and I cannot find that 3M tape. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's these sheets of adhesive. They're by 3M. I think they have like generic ones too that are a different brand. You can get them on, of course, Amazon. But basically you put them on before you cut your wood. And then when you go to put your little pieces down, your tiny little pieces, they have tape on the back that you just peel off and you can stick them down. And it's apparently very, very sticky, works very well, yet I cannot find it. So I'm just gonna have to suck it up and buy more of this miracle tape that y'all speak of. Is that straight? I can't see because I'm not like right over top of it like y'all are. I don't know. I really hate doing straight lettering, honestly. I like curved lettering because then, you know, you've got a little bit of wiggle room for not having it perfect. All right, so then these are going to go there. And I can go ahead and put those down. But this is my stick fast glue. And it's very much like super glue. It's really awesome. It sticks quickly, hence the name Stick Fast. Um, yeah. <laughs> it is uh, awesome for live videos. It's awesome for impatient people is what it's awesome for, who or clumsy people who knock stuff around before it's dry because it dries so, so fast. Um, all right, let's do our, let's do our baseball. All right, we're gonna have to scoop that over a little bit. All right, that's about where we're gonna put it.
Sorry, I got to get real quiet when I'm concentrating. All right, who else has a favorite show they want to talk about? I know a lot of y'all are probably watching me on mute. I can't hear the conversation. I know a lot of people watch these videos while they're working or laying in bed with a sleeping spouse next to them. All right, there's baseball. Cute. So far, that's what we got. Let's get the word at the top on here. Uh, ooh, The Handmaid's Tale. Okay, that's another one on my list I have not seen. I heard that's really good, too. Um, I am watching The Crown right now. Is anybody watching The Crown? I'm on season... Shoot, what season is it? I think it's three. I think, or maybe it's season two. No, it's season three. It's got to be. So I'm on the season um, where, let me see what's happening. Let me think, because I haven't watched it in a few days. Um, Harold Wilson is the prime minister. There's like a little piece floating around. Y'all see it? There it goes. <laughs> um, Prince Charles is going to be in the next episode, apparently. So the queen goes to her. She's doing her horse racing thing. And she gets called back because some kind of, there's some kind of coup I'm not sure what a coup. I mean, I kind of know what a coup is, but you know what I mean? I'm not real good with history. But anyway, the past couple episodes have not been like super, I don't know, my favorites. Um, one of them is really sad. It was about um, Aberfan. If anybody's a crown watcher, you'll know what I mean. But the disaster at Aberfan, which was really sad back in the 60s. Um, oh yes, Lisa, Call the Midwife is one of my favorites. So I'm behind on that show though. I need to, to watch Call the Midwife. So, um, as y'all know, I am a labor delivery nurse. Um, Call the Midwife speaks to my heart and it is done so very well. It is so realistic. Um, I'm amazed at how they make the, the births look real. And I've heard the babies are robotic. It's amazing to me how it really does. It really does look very real. Um, and I, I've not really noticed, like I'm one of those people that when I see babies born on TV, on TV shows, and I see people like pregnant going into labor and stuff, I just roll my eyes because I'm like, that is not right. That is not how that goes. That is not how that gets treated. Um, you know, it just bugs me. My husband just is like, oh my gosh, here she goes with her nursing knowledge. But, um, that show, I'm very impressed. Okay. So I think I should have moved these down some and they are stuck on there. Um, because that's the whole purpose of curving these letters, but I'm chatting and not paying attention to what I'm doing. But yeah, um, and a lot of the um, medical stuff that they talk about on there, it's very fascinating to me the way that it was managed back then. We've come a long way with um, medical stuff. With our technology nowadays and the advancements that we have and the medications that we have, it's amazing. Okay. This is our little framed piece. There's no crying in baseball. How cute is that? I love it. All right. So that's one of our completed pieces. And now we have our little cricket mat freed up. Firefly Lane. I have not seen Firefly Lane. I haven't even heard of that. I don't know what that is. This is for the tag. So here's our tag. Okay. 
and it's going to go this way. And then this says, you're killing me, Smalls. Love the Sandlot. That's another fabulous baseball movie. I had never seen the Sandlot until I met my husband and watched it with him. I don't even know what year the Sandlot came out, but it is adorable. Oops, I'm missing an apostrophe. Um, I'm missing two apostrophes. And they're not on here. These are not apostrophes. These are centers of pieces. So I may have to go back and dig those out or see, I'm going to have to cut apostrophes again, y'all. And that is not fun. Where did they go? Maybe they weren't on here. Maybe they fell through my honeycomb tray. All right. Well, I'll have to go back and get them. So we're not going to worry about that right now. We are going to just paint our letters. Um, let me think. So this, these go on here. But y'all, we got to make sure they go in opposite directions now, don't we? Okay. So um, where does the number one go? I can't remember where that number one goes. Oh, it goes on the... Um, the foam finger. Okay, never mind. All right, so this is your Killing Me Smalls, and I think I might paint this blue just to do a little something, something, a little something different. So let's paint this blue because I think we need a little bit more blue in here. Um, baby wipe. Uh, you score the pieces for then you could engrave the, you know, Lisa, you are so right. You could engrave those on there. That's a great idea. So then you don't have to cut all the little pieces out. I'm going to start doing that. See, that's why I need y'all to give me this feedback. That's a fabulous idea. See, I do do that when I do, I do do that when I do projects for myself, but when I'm making files for y'all, I feel like if I give you this, this tag and it has this random little apostrophe on it, this little, you know, thing on it that people are going to message me and be like, what is that? There's something on there and not understand that's why the apostrophe is on there. So I, I kind of feel like it's confusing, but I don't know. I guess if y'all know the purpose of it then I can do it like that because that would really be easier for everybody. Um, and we are going to do this little guy in red or maybe we'll do white. Yeah. Maybe we'll do white on him. Let me get my white paint pen. You lose a lot of pieces. Yes. <laughs> I lose a lot of pieces too. You know what I honestly, what I would do, what I will do, I will just take a black, well, wait, it depends on what color we're doing the lettering. Uh, what color are we doing the lettering? White. We're going to need to do lettering in white. I will just take a white uh, gel pen. If it shows up enough, I have a white fun tip. Well, I did. Tosca pen. But I don't know. Oh, here it is. If it's fine enough, I could just make a little apostrophe on there. If that doesn't look weird, I might do that. We'll see. Um, okay. So let's do, let's do our letters in the white. And I always tell y'all the white Posca pen needs two coats. Because the first coat you don't hardly even see. But when you put the second coat on, then it really pops. It's a nice bright white color. Hey, Stacy, how are you? I'm so glad all you guys could watch today. This one's a little longer than my normal videos because, you know, it's a tiered tray. So it's a little time consuming.
but it's going to be cute when it's done. So who is the Sandlot fan? Has everybody seen the Sandlot and know where this quote is from? You're killing me, Smalls. It's a really, really cute baseball movie. All right, let's do another coat. And this little guy. Okay. I'm going to let this dry for a moment before I do a second coat, and we'll go ahead and glue some stuff down. So yeah, this would be cute if you've got some little wooden balls that you want to string and just do like a little uh, string of those to attach and put some twine through the hole. That piece is done. And we'll do the baseball. And I am going for a distressed look on these letters. So if they look chalky and kind of not perfect, that is what I'm going for. This would be super cute for a little boy's birthday party or baseball team get together, a table centerpiece. Super cute. Something on there, some white paint. All right, our baseball bat is done. How cute is that, y'all? Cute. There we go. All right, now let's do another coat of white on these because I need this. Matt to do my last lettering. No wait, that's my fine point. Y'all have seen the sand lot. How cute it is. It's so cute. The little boy who moves to a new town and he doesn't have any friends and he meets these boys who play baseball and he doesn't know how to throw the ball. And they teach him and then they become best friends and there's a whole like, there's a couple adventures they get into. It's so cute. One of those, they call, what do they call them? Coming of age movies. That's a movie as well. See how that second coat of white just really makes a difference. There we go. And let that dry for a moment. And let's get our little number one for our finger. This is all eighth inch wood, by the way. So the, the finger, um, the number one is two layers. Um, so the back needs to be white. And you don't have to do both layers if you don't want to. But I just thought it would, you know, stand out more, pop a little bit more.
We'll do this in blue. Okay. All righty. Now we can go ahead and start putting some of this together while we're waiting for the rest of that to dry. Totally going to jump back and watch when the kid is in her thing. Looks cute. <laughs> That's so funny. Thank you, Tracy. And we can put these two together. So let's do that. So y'all let me know, the softball people who watch this, um, obviously the softballs are like that bright yellow color, but do you have any softball stuff that you specifically would want to see in the file? Comment and let me know. And like maybe help me out with like a color scheme that would be popular that we could do. Of course, you could paint it whatever color you wanted to, but for the live if I was going to paint it live, um, what color scheme would y'all want? Okay. So you could just do one layer of this. Let me see how this looks. Let's see. I'll put this. You could just do it like this if you want to. But I like dimension. So I was going to do two layers. Oops, it's moving. And of course, if you wanted to um, put some numbers on, why did I lift that up? I already glued that down. It wasn't stuck yet, though. Put this on. Uh, you could put some numbers on the little. Um, Gloves are on the little man. What are those called? Um, home plate. If you wanted to, um, a font that I like to use for uh, athletic numbers is called. There are two of them. There's um, freshman, and I think the other one is called collegiate. And those are two good fonts for um, sports and like athletic teams and stuff like that. Um, let's do this one so I can free up this mat. I love the baseball stitches. I think they look so cute. figure out where I'm 
where we want these to be. All right, there's the smalls. All right, those are a little crooked, but we're going to try to glue them on straighter than that. Uh, let's go ahead, before I glue those down, let's get these over here and paint these because then they can be drying. This says there's no place like home. Home base. Um, yes, Lisa, I do, but sometimes they end up just going everywhere anyway, so sometimes I do use the frame. What you could do is if you have the... Um, 3M tape on the back. Once you painted them, you could put a piece of tape back across the front of them as long as you knew it wasn't going to peel your paint off. And then you could, you know, do that and transfer them over that way. I've been wanting to, to do that. I just, I don't know. I just never get around to it. Oh, why am I getting, I'm not gluing those yet. Um, okay, so these are going to be black and then red for, red for home. Obviously, those are all crooked, but we don't care because we're just painting them. Yeah, I mean, if you were making a bunch, you really need to, like, work efficiently, use your time wisely, then you may want to have a better system going. But I'm just making one set, so it doesn't take me but a few minutes to get everything just lined up by hand. And these I actually meant to paint while they were still in the wood outline, but um, they just came out and I just was like, I'm not going to worry about it. What is it, kitty man? My cat is um, hollering at me. He hears me talking. He doesn't like when I'm when I talk on the phone or Zoom or FaceTime or any of that, and he hears me talking, but I'm not talking to him. He gets very upset and he starts talking. All right, and we'll use the brush for the spread. My granddaughter is a catcher for her two softball teams. Ooh, very cool. Well, let me know what softball pieces you would like to see if I do a softball set, because I need some input on that. My daughter never played softball, so I don't know. Other than the yellow, the bright yellow ball, and the fact that the ball is bigger, I'm not knowledgeable on softball. And again, I'm going for a distressed look, not a perfect look. 
It's just the way I like it to look for this type of project. There we go. All right. We can put the lid back on this white and put the lid back on this blue. Where's my red? My red has the lid on it. Okay. So let's glue this down. These are the ones that's hard to get straight because they're print letters instead of cursive. So I feel like that makes it a little bit harder. I'm taking my kids to get their first COVID shot this afternoon, y'all, and I'm a little nervous. Y'all say a prayer, if you don't mind. Um, I waited a couple weeks to make sure that I didn't hear anything weird going on, and so my kids are older, though. They're 17 and 19. But, you know, it's nerve-wracking. Oh, come on. These are such tiny little letters. I'm trying to get them straight. Oh, Lisa, thank you for telling me that. That makes me feel so much better because it is making me a little nervous. You know, I mean, it didn't, with, for my husband and me, it was fine, but they're my babies, even if they're not babies anymore. They're always your babies. Uh, let's see. The girls use the ties around their t-shirt sleeves. Um, does the paint wash off your mat? You know what? I don't even bother to wash it off my mats. Because I'm not going to use the mats. This Once I use them for this, I don't use them for actually cutting. I mean, I cut them all up into pieces. So I don't even bother cleaning them. I just let the paint dry on them, kind of like this background here. I am getting glue all over my fingers, which I hate. This glue, it's its so hard when you're doing tiny little letters. That's why I really need to get that 3M tape. Of course, I've been saying that for the longest time, and I never get it. <laughs> get on there. I'm almost done with you little letters. All right. I already glued that on. Yep. Okay. You're killing me smalls now. Could I, let's see. If this doesn't look right, I could always put some paint over top of it. All right. Y-O-U apostrophe R-E, right? Yes, you are. Killing apostrophe. Okay. That looks fine. Y'all probably can't even see that on camera. Let me hold it up. I just took a pen and did my little apostrophes and I think it's fine like that. So you could engrave them or you could cut them out. Okay. I don't know why I'm putting the top on that. I'm going to need that in a minute. Um, we have got one more piece to do and then we're done. So let's do our frame. And this glue, you don't need a whole lot. Just a teeny bit. Oh, get on there. All right, I'm just going to hold that for a second. Um, you don't use yours anymore either. If the paint takes away the sticky, you could spray it with tacky spray. Oh, yeah, for the, well, you know, 
I guess it does take a little bit of the sticky away. I don't know. I feel like I can use it a whole bunch of times before I have to toss it, but I don't bother washing it and trying to reuse it. But yeah, you could spray that 3M spray um, or whatever kind of spray, like spray, you know, glue spray on there to restick your mat. Even if it's got paint on it, you could probably still spray that on there and that would probably work. But if you, you know, think about it, one of the big Cricut mats cut up into a whole bunch of pieces and you can use those pieces repeat times until you finally have to pitch them. I mean, you really do get a lot of use out of them before you have to move on to a new mat. So There's my black. Oop. Get on there. My chair is squeaking and I feel like it's so quiet because you know y'all aren't here like to chat with me so all I hear is just every little noise it's like squeak 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 this is where you probably would benefit from using the outline to get your letters on here straight because it is hard to get them straight um, let's see, I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss any of y'all's comments. So make sure you hop over and get on the SVG Clubhouse wait list, you guys. So you get notified before the doors open on June 1st. So you can get all the bonus files for joining on June 1st. And I'm going to be going live um, that first week, starting on June 1st. Each day that we have a bonus file, I'll be going live painting the bonus file for you to show you how much fun we are having in the club and what we are doing. I know y'all can't even see this, but it just bugs me when I see like a little spot without paint. A catcher mask would be cute too. Yeah, that would be cute. What about a softball shirt? Would that be something that would be cute? Like a softball jersey? Um, maybe like the hat, but with like some hair braids coming out from it. How about that? I think that would be cute. What are some softball sayings? Are there any softball sayings or, or movie quotes that we could incorporate? We're almost done with these little letters. I'm so excited.
Yay. Voila. Ta-da. Cuteness. How about that, y'all? There's no place like home. Okay. Let me put all the pieces together so you can see the cuteness because this might be one of my favorite projects that I have done. All right, we have the foam finger. We have, there's no place like home. Our little tag, you're killing me smalls. Uh, braids that detach would be great for the girls who don't have long hair. Oh yeah, that's cute. That's a good idea. Um, let me do our banner here. So I would, um, you know, alternate our little banner pieces here. That would be cute. And then when we, you know, string these up with some, like some twine like this. Probably string those up for the tiered tray. And then we've got our baseball bat. And this is our tag that we would string up some little wood um, beads. And then, of course, we have our There's No Crying in Baseball. How cute is that, y'all? I'm so excited. I can't wait to get this all set up on my tiered tray um, and put it in the middle of my table. It's very like spring baseball, you know, getting in the mood for some, uh, for a fun baseball season. Uh, League of Their Own movie quotes. I will have to find some more. What other, Lisa, can you think of more than um, There's No Crying in Baseball from A League of Their Own? I can't think of any. I, I might I might just have to, that'll be my excuse to watch that movie because I love watching that movie, right? So I'll have to watch it again to see if I can pull any quotes from it that would be cute for softball. Okay, so this is our tiered tray. Um, this is for sale in my Etsy shop. If you want to grab the file, uh, click the link in the video description and that will take you over to my Etsy shop and you can grab it. Um, and definitely you guys go to my website, lulubeandesigns.com and click on SVG Clubhouse and get signed up to get on the waiting list because the doors open in little over two weeks, um, June 1st. So I'm super excited to uh, show you guys all the fun stuff that we have planned. It's going to be so much fun. And I thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that y'all have a wonderful afternoon and I will see you. Oh, I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to have the, hold on one second here. Let me grab it. We are going to be doing the framed monogram box unboxing. So, I mean, I've already opened it, of course, because I had to see what was inside. But we're going to be doing, we're going to be unboxing um, the framed stuff for the month of uh, May. So I can't wait to share it with y'all. It's super, super cute. So I'm going to wear the t-shirt and the earrings tomorrow because, you know, Sarah from Framed always does really cute stuff. And I have the ultimate box, which, because I'm, extra and I have to have every monogram thing that she gives out every month. I just get very excited when my little box comes. So, oh, hey, batter, batter. That is a cute one. Yeah, we could do that. Um, so yeah, so hop on here tomorrow. I'm not sure what time I'm going to go live. It'll probably be like noonish um, to show you the uh, frame stuff. And then I've got a bunch of fun projects lined up for coming lives as well. So check back in, tune in for all of that. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye.